We out here in front of Noma, Copenhagen. Fucking stoned out of my mind with 46,000 courses. <laughs> Look at this scene. And this is Nordic beauty. Life is good. Here with my brothers, man. Got Big Body with me. I got Stax with me. I got Mayhem Loren with me. Whoever thought that making words rhyme would get this? This time on Fuck That's Delicious, I've once again managed to dine at the most unbelievable establishments possible. I'm everywhere from Noma in Copenhagen to Wiener Circle in Chicago. I got my brother Big Body. Get my man right here. Guys love Street Fighter 2. <laughs> I got my brother Mayhem Loren with me. We've known each other since we were three. We went from Denmark to Chicago to Venice. Eating all types of all kinds of everything. We're just wilding in the streets. Fuck, that's delicious. We're in Venice. I'm only involved in aquatic movements. We're in Italy. You see us on the, on the boats, on the canals. Look at the wonderful architecture, the city built in water. I never thought I'd see this in my life, but we're here. Crazy. Now we're on the Rio de la Refrescada. We're about to go eat some fish, some pasta. Been a good trip, my brother. This is a Venetian style shrimps fried with vinegar. When my mother used to put shrimp in my baby bottle. If anybody knows shrimp, I know shrimp. This is high quality shrimp right here. He's Whoa. Such a big fan. He's oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that, brother. I really don't want to ruin your dinner. Wow. So but you're not ruining anything. No. That made our dinner better. Thank you. Is it cuttlefish? Cuttlefish. Mm, I'm interested in this sea truffle right here. Look at this beautiful flesh right here. Mm. Beautiful. It's a very nice gesture right here. What I've been waiting for my entire trip uh, is the simplest you can get, pasta al dente. If you cook your pasta to mush, I hate you. I could live here, I think. I couldn't even live in the fucking Bronx. I'm thinking about living in Venice. Like, no. I can't leave Queens. I'm in another place right now. I'm in a beautiful mind frame. Straight up, I'm fucking, I'm touched on some real shit. You go around the world, perform for people. You're able to see the most incredible places while still working and getting paid. I really couldn't think of a better job. One of Copenhagen's most talented chefs invited me to his restaurant for a barbecue before the show, and honestly, I couldn't see how I could turn this down. On the water, Overlooking the gorgeous garden. In Denmark, it's super hard to get fatty brisket. Really? It's like a, it's like a cut, no butcher nose. Really? Yeah. Mm. I got some dried beef fat in there melting down. Ah. Uh, let me get my cologne. This is what I want to smell like. Shall I close it for you or leave it? Yeah, you can close it. Thanks. We're in a mad spot right now, a mass. Before he opened this place, he used to cook at the Fat Duck in England, per se in New York, and Noma, here in Copenhagen. Look at this kitchen. Come on, your mother don't got a kitchen like this. That's the piece, that's the money shot. Oh my God. Look at this fucking perfect cornbread, man, are you kidding me? Man, this is beautiful. Fuck off. Cooked a brisket for 30 hours. Loads of tomatoes, fresh berries, potato salad with fried egg whites. This might be the perfect plate. It feels like I'm eating Starburst. Cherry sherbet olive oil, and burnt chocolate. You gotta get a little bit of everything. That's like a next level Cherry Garcia. Honey butter, a touch of salt on a baked chocolate chip salted cookie. Yep. Next universe. Holy shit. Yo, body, did you rehearse? I'm rehearsing right now. <laughs> Young rehearsals. I don't even know what's on the grill, but I'm waiting for it. I want my seconds first. 
I've been to Copenhagen before several times. It's one of my favorite cities in the world. Every place in Europe has some sort of Arabic person that has the kebab spot, and they're the only place that stays open all night. The reason why we eat so much shawarma is because he doesn't like anything else but Islamically prepared animals. This is true, because every time you eat a halal meal, it cleans your sins of the day. You throw all that shit up in the morning, your shits are hot, it's crazy. You know what time it is, big body bismillah. <laughs> One of the best meals I've ever had took place in the back of a shitty heavy metal bar in Copenhagen. Chef Lee Tiernan, thank you. Hi, my name's Lee Tiernan, and we're here at Bakken Nightclub in Copenhagen. Six weeks ago, I started doing the food here, just for the summer. Tonight I'm prepping, but it just so happened that I had some stuff in the smoker, and I'm about to cook a nice lamb shoulder for uh, Action Bonson. How you doing, mate? Good to see you. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Good to see you, mate. You all right? Oh no, man, Diego. I have 36 different names. Just doing what I do, man. However, the breeze takes me. Is that beer? No, it's a my thing, my South thing. American iced tea, no alcohol, a lot of caffeine. Okay. I'm with that organic lifestyle. I make all the bread myself. The smoked potato and smoked artichoke in here as well. That's the smoked lamb shell. Oof, uh, thank you, sir. I'm gonna fry some of that up for you. You see this? Lamb shoulder? I like a nice lamb tricep. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> so that's the smoked lamb shoulder with um, the red peppers and aubergine, sumac onions, some pickled red cabbage. You're getting Turkish with it, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Thank you for doing this, man. And there's uh, lamb stumps. Ooh. With uh, a bit of pomegranate molasses. I'm about to make out with that lamb time. I'm used oh, to Dominican man. and Puerto Rican tongue, but it's shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is ridiculous. It's fucking incredible. This lamb stew right here, the lamb shoulder, is the best thing I've had so far on this fucking trip. You hear me? This reminds me of my grandmother's kissing my cheek. I'm gonna have to agree and say this is the best thing all trip. I feel like I'm in the middle of like a Middle Eastern knife fight. The lamb was a little retarded when you did him. This shit is stupid. Let me stick this down. It's a uh, smoked pork jowl, exo sauce, and then pickled daikon. And I think you're gonna enjoy that. Mm. Went to a lot of fucking fancy places. We're in the back of a fucking nightclub right now. We got graffiti all over the wall. I went in the bathroom and someone shit on the floor. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Because the food here is the best food that I've had all year long. This shit is incredible to me. Chefs, you've outdone yourselves. I don't even know what to say. Chef Lee Tiernan is doing his fucking thing over there. I think he took some fucking ecstasy before making this. And I don't blame him if he did, tell you the truth. He knew he was coming and fucking deal with some wild fucks. Chefs, this is literally the best I've ever been treated culinarily. I've never been treated better than here. Hi, I'm John. You're right in front of my little kitchen. Look at this little guy. He's a guy, motherfucking huh? pro. He's a pro. <laughs> my hot dog stand is right in front of Central Station. I'm open every second week from Tuesday to Monday, from 10 o'clock in the morning to 1 o'clock at night. All of the rest of the hot dog stands sell some shit. I want to make good stuff. I don't care if I make less money. I got more happy customers. You mm -hmm. make a good product. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's all about. This is where all the magic happens, is food lab, hot dog food lab. Take all these creations and bring them to the street for the people. This is not just some fucking dick in water, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is fucking gourmet, delicious stuff. It's uh, beef, pork. I love it at all. Everything's pork, huh? You like chili sauce? Yeah, I like everything, man. It's a sour beer with blueberry, add a little bit of chili. Mmm. That mustard with the beer. Fuck, man. Mm. <laughs> no. No.
Can I order some sausages or are we too tired from jet lag? So we're in the motherfucking windy city of Chicago. Hot dogs is a cuisine all in itself. To call them hot dogs, sausages, which does not do it justice. Each dog is specifically handcrafted, just like a snowflake, it's like pussy. We got into town three weeks before Doug was going to close down, and the lines fucking took four hours. I had nightmares I was going to miss my opportunity, but we ended up ordering the entire menu. Bottom line is I'm going to taste every single one of these. Let's speak on these fries, though. What kind of fries oh, are Oh, we got the duck fat fries. This is a next level crunch. Uh, the crunch on these duck fat fries, man. Incredible. So this is the guanciale and the escargot. Snail and the, and the fucking mouth of a pig, the jowl. Oh, man. With a young cheese. Oh, my god. The earthiness from the motherfucking snails, the fattiness from the jowl. That creaminess and that fatty shit from the, from the young brie. I want to eat this entire thing, but I have 14 more to go, so we're gonna put this one on, on hold. We're gonna try the Polish now. I eat peppers like that with every meal. The quality in this shit is ridiculous, man. Cassoulet is one of my favorite things. With the duck sausage and the duck confit, the white beans. Oh my God. This is fucking Donald in the bun. We gotta make this one totally next level. I'm gonna take some duck fat fries. Duck fat. Oh. Oh. This fucking dude is a mastermind. Everything duck. Oh. The same. That duck confit, the fat from the duck meat. Oh my god. Bro. Foie. That's illegal in 38 states. That's the same charge as crack. Yo, this is a felony fucking piece of food. You have to fucking try I'm only it. trying duck-related dogs in this episode. My man is only fucking eating duck from now on, you understand? There's like 16 flavors going on right now. My little taste buds are doing backflips. This is incredible. Levels of his duck shit, man. Come back. This might be the single most decadent, delicious thing I've ever had in my life. I nutted in my pants. I have to go change. Doug, you're a genius. You should have your penis cleaned by three African princesses every day. I just want to say action, you're, you're the bomb diggity. That, that's what the kids say, right? Thank you, boss. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice weekend, huh? You bet. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Nice to see you. How are you doing? How are you? <laughs> now, what is, what is this for? You got a food show? Yeah. This is, uh, we have a food show on Vice. Uh, it's a, you know, Vice is a big yeah. media network, and uh, I'm sure they already told you the name, whatever. Um, yeah, me, I'm just, I'm, I used to be a chef. I hurt myself in the kitchen, I broke my leg, and I just, you know, somehow became a rapper. Yeah. I got a singer here, but he doesn't do rap, he does Sinatra. 
I love Sinatra too. It's my grandfather's music. Oh man, look at this. You can pick it up, you're a good man. Yup. Go. Mmm. It's a good piece of meat. These are what we call pot roast nachos. Ah. Oysters. Oh man. Mm. This is the paddle steak and the pork chop. Some lobster nice. mac and cheese. It's great stuff. You really like this every night? No. Oh, you are a stuff. Well, yeah, good to see you. I'm going to say that. Yeah. You. Thank you. Don't tell me. What you've done for this city has been well, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. You're nobody in Chicago when you're sitting next to Coach. When you come to New York, I'll take you out. Coach, I have a bachelorette. Oh. Back. <laughs> this is your bachelorette party. How are you? Hi. Nice. Congratulations. You. Thank you, sir. Do you mind taking a photo with, with them? them? We have $100. $100 worth of them. Wiener schnitzel. We're going to go to Wiener Circle and get $100 worth. The Wiener Circle is the recipient of the 1994 Latoya Jackson Foundation Award for the most outstanding service in the greater Midwest area. Who the rapper? And that guy right there? Got him. That's this motherfucker right here. Huh. This motherfucker be good ass goatee on his cheek. Oh, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> hey, that's what up, baby? Are you the DJ? Nah. What you do? Just hang. Oh, shit. I'm just just hang. 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 Just
This is the most peaceful I've been in months. You see that? Yeah. Fuck that, delicious. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Rap does a lot of wonderful things. What's up, Action? What you doing, buddy? Where you gotta go, bro? I'm gonna go pick up my man body, but I wanna get some Chinese fucking halal. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Didn't you say you want to be on Love and Hip Hop? This is fucking nothing compared to that. Let's go shoot some hoops, man. Money! This is nuts. It's like it's all New York. The moment when Trick Daddy and Trina comes on and you eat chicken palm. Hey, you know that? Sitting on motherfucking Amsterdam right now with 43 fucking dimes of that boule. Is that uptown dream right here? Mm. Curtain goes up, you can see one on one. It's you and her. I started pumping it. And when I start pumping, it gets big. It's, it's, it's a tricky dick. <laughs>